Hello everyone, welcome to the SharePoint Online tutorial. Myself Roslyn, and in this video, we will learn about the SharePoint Online Markdown Mapbar. And these are the headings that we are going to cover in this video. First, we will see what is SharePoint Online Markdown Mapbar and how we can add and edit the Markdown Mapbar in our modern SharePoint site page. And what are the different options that are available in the modern SharePoint Markdown Web Part? So, what is Markdown Web Part? It is actually a set of rules of syntax which allows us to add text for a site page. Using Markdown language, we can easily format the text for our web page. By default, when we add the Markdown Web Part to our modern SharePoint site page, it will be displayed in the dark theme and show preview mode. Markdown web part is available only in the modern SharePoint Online. It is not available in the SharePoint Server 2019 version. In modern SharePoint, it is available in theme site as well as in the communication site. So, this is how it looks like when we add the Markdown web part into our modern SharePoint site page. Now, I will show you how to add the modern SharePoint Markdown web part into our site page. Initially, log in to the Microsoft Office 365 and open this SharePoint application. Now, select the site page for which you want to add the Markdown web part. In this example, I am going to choose the communication site page and click on the edit icon over here and select the section. Here, I am going to choose on column section and search for the Markdown option and select the Markdown option here. Here, you can see as I already said, by default, it will be displayed in the dark theme and show preview mode. This is how it looks like. This is how we can add the Markdown web part into our modern SharePoint site page. So, when we edit anything from the left section, you can see the text has been displayed in the right side. Whatever we are adding in the left column section, it will be displayed in the right column section. And we can also change the dark theme to the light theme. And if you want to hide this preview, we can expand this and click on the hide preview option so that it will be disabled. Here you can see that preview mode is disabled. Now I will show you how to edit or configure the markdown web part. Click on the edit web part option. Here you can see these are the different options or references that are available in markdown web part. So I will explain each and everything like header, emphasis, paragraph, link and images, how to add list, how to display the table in the markdown web part. So here I am going to enable the show preview mode and I am going to choose the headers first. So simply copy and paste over here. You can see the header alignment here. Based on the header tag, it displays the text in the preview mode. So now I simply modify these header tags and show you. So here you can see how the header tag elements look like. H1 element looks like this until H6 we can use the header elements. So I have showed you from H1 tag to H6 tag. This is how we can add headers in the markdown web part. Now I will show you how to use the emphasis. How to display the font in bold and italic and stripe through. We can also simply use the keyboard options like Ctrl B and Ctrl I and Ctrl dash. And this is the another way that we can choose the bold option here and like this we can also choose these are the three ways that we can add the emphasis to the text that is presented in the left hand side of the mark down web part here you can see i have added the sp guides enjoy sharepoint and python guides the sp sp guides in the bold font and the enjoy sharepoint as italic and python guides as strike through this is how we can use the emphasis. Now I have showed you how to use the headers and emphasis in Markdown web part. And thirdly, we will see how to use the paragraph thing. How to display the block code and code in the Markdown web part. Here you can see we simply use the greater than simple and we can write the text that we want to display it as a block code. In the preview mode, you can see that block code has been displayed. In the same way, I will show you how to add the code and display using the back tricks. Simply use the back tricks and enter the code that you want to display over there. Here you can see I have used the back tricks and enter the code that I want to display it over here. You can also see in the preview mode it displays in the code format. 
this is how we can display the code in markdown web file now i am going to clean this left hand side page till now we have learned how to add headers emphasis and paragraph now i will show you how to add links and images list and table first we will see how to add links and images you can see here this is the link example and this is the image example we need link text that to be displayed in the square bracket and we use the link inside the parenthesis these are the two main important things one is square bracket and another one is parenthesis the text that we which we want to display in the link should be inside the square bracket and the link should be in the parenthesis we can also use this link option inside the link select the text here you can paste the link address and click on the save option here you can see the link has been added if i want to make this python guides as bold select the text and choose the bold option here here you can see the three link has been added when you click on this it will be redirect to the mentioned url here you can see it redirects to the sp guides in the same way when you click enjoy sharepoint it will be redirecting to the enjoy sharepoint site and also the python guides if now if you select it will be redirect to the python guides this is how it looks and works so now we came to know how we can add the links in markdown web file next i will show you how to add images inside that here you can see to add image we have to pass the alternative text inside the square bracket and the link address inside the parenthesis we use exclamatory mark over here to add the image now i clean this and i will add the image link over here here you can see i have add the alternative text inside the square bracket inside the parenthesis i have passed this image url this is how you can add image in the markdown web part and next i will show you how to add list here you can see i have created the ordered list and bulleted list inside the ordered list you can see first order item and second order item in the bulleted list you can see the sp guides and enjoy sharing side this is how we can display the list inside the markdown web part and finally i will show you how to add the table inside the markdown web part before that clear this left hand side portion and choose this example copy it and paste it over here you can see the head header tab and the column and row has been displayed in the preview mode if you want to add the next column just simply enter it copy the row and paste it over here you can see the second row has been added here you can see i have renamed the table values and it has been updated in the table in show preview mode this is how to add the table inside the markdown web part so we have learn how we can add headers emphasis paragraph link images list and table inside the markdown web part in modern sharepoint site page once the changes has been done click on the republish icon so that the changes will be appear in the modern sharepoint site page click on the republish icon here you can see the table has been displayed in the modern sharepoint site page with this we came to the end of this video if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.